Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com and you've joined Tegan and myself for some off camera flash on location shooting. Now I'm going to be working with a two flash setup. Uh, you can see my main light here. It's uh, working with a 100 centimeter uh, reflective umbrella. Um, and you can also see that that flash unit, which is a HVL-F60M, is sitting on one of Sony's receivers, radio receivers. Now I'm using a commander on my A7R Mark II to control both the zoom and the power output of that flash. Uh, my second light, it's going to be a much uh, smaller HVL-F32M. Uh, this is just supplying the kick light or rim light, uh, just to give me an edge of lighting for a little bit of extra drama. Now, um, just a, a little bit of word of how I've set this up. Okay, I've um, set up um, uh, the camera uh, to be shooting in manual mode. I've set um, a shutter speed of 250th of a second. I can exceed that because this does support high speed sync. Okay, but uh, I'm going to be using apertures on this uh, 50 mil prime of f2 and wider. Now typically if you're shooting in um, bright conditions you would either need to use that high speed sync or an ND filter. Now because we're underneath uh, a bridge, uh, it's a little bit noisy under here, but we're under a bridge, um, that lower uh, level of light allows me to underexpose the ambient light. That's always the first stop, um, shot that I do, is I'll look to create an exposure that underexposes that ambient light. And then I switch the two flashes on and try and get the, the pop, uh, that figure ground separation, by correctly exposing the flash. Okay, so uh, let's take a couple of shots and then we can take a look at the lighting. And then I'll just uh, give you a quick overview after we've got those shots under our belt. Okay, so we've just finished the uh, shoot. Um, primarily I was uh, shooting with F2 and wider. I didn't really need to go into uh, high speed sync, so I kept the shutter speed at 250th of a second. Uh, I actually switched from um, manual power settings um, over to TTL on the commander system. Uh, it is a lot bit, uh, easier working with TTL if you're going to constantly change your aperture. Um, so um, those were my ideal settings. I'll just talk you through my workflow one more time. First off, um, set the ambient exposure. With the uh, commander switched off, uh, you can gauge how dark that um, background is going to be. As soon as you switch the commander on, then the setting effect is switched off automatically. We don't need to remember to go into the menus to do that. And then quite quickly I can uh, gauge um, the uh, lighting ratio and, and adjust the ratios from the commander to get that perfect setup. I'll just talk you through the equipment that I used here. I've got a HVL-F60M. Okay, this was um, most of the time just firing off at um, an eighth of a power. Uh, so the recycle time was really re very quick in this instance. Um, this is the, uh, the baby of the HVL family. Well, uh, there is a, an F20, but this one is the 32. This one does allow a little bit more sophistication over zoom and angle. Okay, this one was uh, supplying the kick light. Uh, even though this was uh, quite a small one, this was very rarely uh, more than a sixteenth power uh, firing off. Just remember when you're using these uh, large umbrellas, you can see this one catching the wind. Uh, I've put a, a backpack on the legs there, uh, but uh, ideally you can also have a, a shot bag, just uh, stopping that from blowing over uh, with an unexpected gust of wind. Okay, uh, I'll post uh, the examples and uh, you can take a look at um, uh, the, both the lighting ratio and also um, 
how, uh, how amazing this 50mm 1.4 lens is as well. Okay, I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com.